Hey y'all, it's me again. Um, so listen, my kids are a little rowdy this morning, so excuse them. If you hear a bunch of screaming, they're just playing in the living room. So I'm gonna get started today. I've already brushed my teeth, washed my face over. I actually almost forgot to do a video. So I'm just gonna talk about me a little bit. Um, people wanted me to do a little more talking instead of just videotaping, so I'm gonna try that. I'm not this good at it, so we're gonna try. Um, so I am 28 years old. I am from Milton, Florida. I was born and raised out here, but I did moving around when I, like I said in my other video previously, I was in foster care from 14 until I was 18. I did a lot of running away. I never stayed in one spot for long until the last two years of me fitting to age out because I wanted to finish my high school education before because I promised my grandfather when I was younger that I would finish high school because not a lot of my family have. Um, so I had went to um, my foster dad's house, Nate Cotton, and they were um, church going people, pastor, you know, very, um, very protective, very um, nurturing, and they had, I graduated within two, three months of living with them early, and um, life was good over there. Um, I still got to do what I wanted to do. I was 17, almost 18. Um, I got my apartment when I aged out, and after that, um, I was out on my own. I got in a relationship that I was in since I was a teenager, got married, got custody of my little sister. When I was 18, she was 16. I, when I aged out of foster care, I got her out of foster care. Um, and I adopted her. The relationship soured after a year of being married. And I left and ended up getting in a wrong crowd in Pensacola and got hooked on drugs. <laughs> six years I'd say I was really strung out I had a lot of um unresolved mental issues at the moment and I blamed my past for it and things that's happened to me but really it wasn't for that it was just me being weak-minded and not accepting the things that happened to me and accept it it helped me grow um I didn't learn that until after a few years <laughs> after sobering up that everything I've went through I'm growing into the woman I am today so as I was saying so anyway I got off drugs in 2015 September 25th I turned myself in and went to jail I did 10 months in the county and previously that I was in and out of jail for month or two within the three years I was I was just you know skipping probation skipping bonds doing anything just to keep doing drugs and getting out but this last time they didn't let me out so I did 10 months solid and the, the judge looked at me and said if you get any more trouble you're not going to be able to be released you're going to get five years or more so I did a lot of soul searching and and I know this, when you go to jail, you hear about people finding God. No, I knew God way before I was doing drugs. I prayed even when I was on drugs. That's why I'm still alive, if you want to be honest. And But what I was saying up to the point is I've told God, if you let me out of here and don't give me prison time, maybe, I mean, right before I went to court and found out I had 10 months, I said, I won't go back. I'll go home to my family and I won't do drugs again. So, I get out in February of 20, February 20th of 2016, and I been doing great ever since. I kept my promise. I'll only smoke marijuana. I'm not going to lie. And that's all I do. And that's morally for my anxiety and for me to sleep and have an appetite, because once you've been doing drugs so long that your food doesn't taste the same and ever again really you don't crave to eat as much um so other than that I helped my sister raise her three children I'm going to start going to college in January and I've been in a relationship for five years 
and he straightened me up because when I got out of jail, I'm not gonna lie, the first month I was going wild. I was doing crazy stuff. I was drinking a lot. I wasn't doing drugs when I got out, but I was turning towards that way. And then I met the guy that I'm with now and everything turned around. I've got my own place a year after being with him. We've had a couple spots since then. We're going to get a, a new spot soon. Um, all around, my life has been blessed. And when I say blessed, because I've been through a lot. I've been stabbed, pistol whipped, raped on the streets. I was tortured, you know, kidnapped and put in rooms, held hostage, you know what I'm saying? Over something that I could have stopped if I would have got help. No, I didn't get no treatment. I just went to jail and I turned my life around and said, I'm done with this. It ain't worth sleeping on the streets and stuff. So like I'm saying is, is be strong. If I can get off the streets and get off of all types of drugs and from stopping that fast life and that money life and staying up all night and not eating, anyone can do it. But people are so fast to judge somebody, they don't even give them a chance to explain the story and what has, what their life is been and and they wonder why we don't open up or anyone don't open up to people because when we do they go back behind our back and talk about you so i'm going over my fear and i'm letting y'all know about me so if you have any questions or anything just comment or let me know what you want for this next video but that's going to be it for today. Have a good day.